The Michigan Wolverines. Now, this is a big one, right? Uh, 10 and 3 last year, 8 and 1 in the conference. Returning starters, they got 7 on offense, 5 on defense. Experience, number 43, returning experience in the country, number 5 in the conference. Jim Harbaugh, 38 and 14 in four years. Their biggest question this year, one, I guess they've got two big questions, right? One, what is Josh Gaddis, the new offensive coordinator, going to do with this offense? And two, are they going to be able to kind of reload on defense? I think that they will answer both uh, with a, a yes. Josh Gaddis is going to do some wonderful things on offense. I I would trust him to run an offense, especially with Shea Patterson. Correct. And then on defense, it's just kind of reload, right? Like it, they That's lose, right. they lose like six of their front seven. But they did it the year before, and we all said the same thing last yeah, year. Same thing. Oh, they lost all these guys. They, they got Carlo Kemp back on defense uh, as their defensive tackle, so they will be able to lean on him. Uh, they've got Devin Gill. They got Lavert Hill back, uh, both you know secondary you know, linebacker, whatever. Um, look, I, I think I just I, I love this team. I, I think that this is with the schedule setting up the way that it is. Like the offensive line is going to be a position of strength this year. Um, I think you know it, it, losing players like uh, like Rashawn Gary, Chase Winovich, Devin Bush Jr. That would devastate defenses, especially when they lose like defensive line coach Greg Madison to Ohio State. I I don't know, man. I think that they've recruited insanely well. I think that this is just kind of next man up level at this point. Like I think they're going to be really, really good. Now they need to find a running back, right? They'll they lose, figure that out. They lost Higdon, but I, I think that you can just kind of like True Wilson ought to be pretty good. Christian how, Turner how ought good to be pretty is good. how good is really good? I think as good as they were last year at it, and they were, you know, what ten and two last year. They were ten and two. So, I think, I think this year the schedule sets up better. I think that they are more experienced. I think they are better than the other teams on their schedule. You are going to find me. What do you have? Are we really? No way. There's no possible way we did that. All right. So we I, we both have Michigan at twelve and zero. 12 and 0. 9 and 0 in, in the, the conference playoffs. going into the uh the Big 10 championship game. And I think they win the Big 10 championship game. I think I think they go to the playoffs. And I think they go to the playoffs. Yeah. I, I think they're 13 and 0. I mean the way that the schedule sets up like yes you've got Army at home could be kind of difficult then you've got a bye week right before a trip to Wisconsin. So I think they get that one done. You've got Rutgers right before Iowa, you've got Illinois right before Penn State. Now, you've got at Penn State right before Notre Dame. Penn, but, Penn State is not the Penn State we used to know. Exactly. They have, they have changed so much over the last couple of years. They've lost a lot in the last two years. You've got a, a bye week before you play Michigan State at home. Then you've got at Indiana, which is always tough. And then you've got Ohio State at home. So here's, here's my thought process with this. Jim Harbaugh is a really, really good coach. He doesn't just forget how to coach, okay? Yeah. He took Stanford. When Stanford hasn't been anything since John Elway and made them back into a national power, not a good team like they are now, a national power. All right. He then goes to the NFL, the 49ers, who was atrocious at the time. Yeah. And he turns them in to a Super Bowl team yeah. with two guys that nobody could win consistently with as his quarterback. This is true. I think Brady Hoke left things pretty rough at Michigan. I think it took a little longer to turn around than normal. And I think the biggest reason for that is if you lose it in these cold weather areas where they don't produce a massive amount of homegrown talent, it's really hard to get back yeah. in recruiting. Yes. 100%. How do you get kids to leave Mississippi and Alabama and Texas and Florida and go play football at Michigan. That's the problem. And it's taken him a while, but now Don Brown and him have just turned this thing into a machine. It was only a matter of time. It isn't only a matter of time before they get the offense figured out. Last year, if they had any inkling of an offense, they they do a lot of things different, and they only lost two games to begin with. Yeah. I think I, I like the way that Notre Dame's schedule set up last year and the way yep. that that team was was set up. Perfect. 
almost kind of the exact same thing that's, with Michigan this I, that's year. That's exactly the way I saw it too. Man, yeah. we don't talk. We need more conflict. Yeah, but. the only the only team that you have ever asked me about before we jumped in this this thing was Northwestern. Was Northwestern. That's just because there are guys, and I knew we would both be high. Yeah, and I just didn't want to be out outplayed by you. Now that's see that's the thing. I don't <laughs> like. I'm trying not to be biased here. You're Obviously, not because I'm, you're you're kind of the anti Michigan guy. Yes, you, I am. You've never been super crazy high on Harbaugh. Whenever no. we do our top ten quarterback coaching rankings, you got him in like eleven or nine or somewhere right there, and I've always got him at four or five. Yeah, and 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 I don't know that we're sold on Shea Patterson. Let me tell you this: I don't know that Shea Patterson finishes the season as that quarterback. McCaffrey's little brother is on campus there, and no. a lot of reports are that McCaffrey's little brother is doing some good things. I did. that's fine. If if but Shea, I ain't buying it. if Shea can't get the offense going and it looks like it's stuck in the mud like it did last year, do you you don't think any chance early on? I think they, they make a move. I think this is a completely different setup because of Josh Gaddis and that spread offense. Uh, you're I think probably this right. is much more com- uh, comfortable for Shea Patterson and what he does. Yes, I, I agree. I'm just asking. Yes. Okay. Yes. Man, twelve and zero. Got them 13-0. I think they make the playoffs. Yep. Believe that. All right.